Hi, I'm Bea. My channel is about mixed media, art, journaling, assemblage and anything else that sparks my interest. Hey all! Welcome to my next project for the altered book entomology. Uh, it's going to be the second page and uh, as you can see here I also going to saw a little bit. I have for the first time two cameras so that I can show you from the side how the sewing process what looks like because if you watch from above you won't see anything. Wish me luck! <laughs> I'm not sure how much it works. So I'm going to use one of those uh, double spread we tear out and I want to use those found insects. That's actually from a bag. I don't remember, but I, I especially like this reduce, reuse, recycle. I really want to use that. But I'm thinking about using, uh, because I'm not good at, at um, cutting out circles, I like my, yeah, that's pretty nice. I like my uh, punches. So I have it in nearly every size, just so that I don't have to cut it out. I'm gonna use that somewhere here and what about that? That I think I'm gonna tear. It's from the same bag and sorry I don't remember. It's probably from America because America seems to have more nice paper bags. I do bring them home and make stuff with it. I'm going to use just a dab in the middle of the insects just to hold them in place while I'm sewing because I can't, of course, I can't use um, paints that would make a hole. Something like that. Okay, now what I use for um, sewing is uh, actually, um, it's not a sewing thread, it's an embroidery thread. It means it's only a two-ply, it's a rather thin thread and not a three-ply like the sewing thread. And I have it in different colors, I just have them since a while, <laughs> so that's what I'm going to use. So. No further ado, I'm going to move that out of the way, grab my sewing machine. I use a very inexpensive um, sewing machine, it's from a big store, it's not a brand sewing machine. Just I do all kinds of things with that which I wouldn't do with a really good sewing machine. Um, I do use it doesn't have uh, the foot for embroidery, so I use it without a foot. But you probably have one of those foot with you, which you can use with embroidery. It's really a cheap model, so it doesn't have it, but that's fine with me. I use the largest straight stitch I have. And I'm gonna add it somewhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut back right away. And I'm gonna make it a little bit less high than the book. The goal is something like that. So, but less holes. You're gonna see it how I mean it. So I'm gonna do just straight lines and just start somewhere. I'm 
Now I do cut back those so that they don't tangle when I go over it again approximately at the same spot just to make the, the line for the sewing a little bit wider. I think I have really every piece. You have to go over and over again until the end and uh, I simply cut them back because I'm going to use some gesso afterwards. Okay, so I said I want this part out and now it is just making a little snip. So I simply tear along the sewn edges and that's why you need two, at least better three rows of stitching. Okay, that's what it looks like now. And that's the back side. Now, remember we did those flaps. Now I want to use those to glue it in. But I think I'm gonna... Hmm, from this side. As you can see, I don't go uh, side by side, page by page. I just jump. That's the way I work in art journals anyway, so I'm not very chronological. I'm gonna use a baby wipe, I want, don't want it covered completely, just to tone it down a bit. And at the same time, because I go over the threads, over the sewn parts too, it also stabilizes a little bit the whole page. Now on the front side, I try to avoid gesso on the pictures which is already a little bit too late here but anyway I'm gonna add just in the parts where the pages are not the pictures of course now does that has to go in between here gonna stick out a bit which is fine with me so I'm gonna use tacky glue for that we need the glue on both sides of the flaps and then I try somewhat to center it lengthwise. And 
just for security reason, I'm gonna add that underneath. I use a wet towel to get any excess glue. And I'm thinking about um, adding some washi tape. Again, my washi tape is not meant to be permanent, so it needs a little bit of glue. make sure that it is gonna stay there where it has to. So here we are with the second page for our altered book. This time a little bit something different. We did sewing some pages together and added those collected pictures from bags and magazines and whatever. And then we added some gesso. We did uh, glue it in and did reinforce it with some washi tape. So I think it's another way to add some interest to our altered book. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you soon again. Take care!